going on everyone? I figured it was time for a quick setup tour. So I do the podcast from here all the time. I also work from here, all that stuff. I thought it made sense to go through and show you guys what the setup looks like. So let's talk about this area as a whole. So we have an extra bedroom, but that's about to be taken up. So uh, my wife and I thought, let's build a dedicated space where all my stuff can live. And I did have some requirements. So this is obviously off of our, our dining area, but she and I spent a couple weekends putting this together. So I really like that it's in the house. It's in the house. <laughs> of course I like that it's in the house. <laughs> I'm glad it's not outside. No, what I was trying to say, I, I like that it's out in the open. I am surrounded by windows here in the kitchen and in the living room. And so it's really nice throughout the day to have a bunch of extra light. And I'm really close to the TV. I'm close to the fridge. You know, it just kind of works. So we did the wall, all the shiplap. And then these are actually pre-built cabinets. We did the, actually my wife did the crown molding across the top. So shout out to her. Uh, but we just stacked them, put them together, painted, you know, added the hardware, all that stuff. I had some specifications, so I wanted to make sure that everything was accessible, but also really clean looking. And so the wires are all tucked away and hidden, which is really nice. It's a pretty clutter free, uh, even underneath, um, which is great. And then this cabinet here actually houses both of my computers. So, uh, and, and that's one thing I'll show you guys is the two computer set up here and kind of the reason behind that. So let's just jump into it. The chair is nothing special. This is from Amazon. Uh, it was a couple hundred bucks, good reviews, comfortable, and I've been happy with it. I want to put the roller blade wheels on it, but I haven't done that yet. Still need to paint that. So ignore, ignore down there, but just jumping into the desk itself. So Starting from the top, we've got this little battery operated light fixture that we almost never turn on because it dies really quickly. Shout out to uh, Nafs and Chris Reeve. This is one of my favorite knife related things that I own. My wife loves it and it just kind of fits. So down below, I've got two monitors. These were provided by my employer. I don't know the specs on them, but they work just fine for what I do. And then I've got a webcam. It is the Anchor PowerConf 200 something or other. It's about 45 bucks and a really solid webcam. I love the physical shutter. The uh, autofocus is really good as well. And then jumping down into sort of the desktop itself, I've got this boom arm that I found from Amazon that just mounts on the wall, which is nice because I can just kind of tuck it away, stays out of sight. And then the mic that I use is one I found on Amazon. It's called Fiduce, I don't know, uh, F-D-U-C-E, I don't know. This is uh, for the money, I can't remember exactly how much I paid, I think it was like 80 or 100 bucks. There was a good coupon at the time and um, it sounds fantastic and for the money and for the functionality, it's USB-C or XLR, so really versatile and has you know monitoring built in, I can plug my headphones right in, which is really nice. For some light, I've got this little smart bulb uh, orb thing it can change colors and brightness and all that and we can turn it off if we need to but i just like to have it on on the desk i've got a sort of generic desk mat i think it came from amazon and the keyboard is from target uh, i got it super cheap i liked the color and it's super quiet which i love uh the mouse that i'm using Probably need an upgrade, but this is the Logitech MX Master 2S. It served me well so far, no complaints. And then over here, I've got just an LED timer, so I can set it. And this is really helpful when, you know, ADD is really going off and I need to focus. Um, it's really loud, it's easy, it's bright, all that stuff. So uh, this was like 12 bucks on Amazon. Get yourself one of these if you uh, need some help focusing. And then over here, the last piece up top is this charger. Again, another Amazon find, but I use my iPad a lot during the day. And so I wanted something I could plug my iPad into. So it's got plenty of ports here. It also charges my AirPods. If my watch gets low, I can throw it here. And then of course the wireless stand for the phone itself. So 
really great charger. It wasn't super cheap, but it was also not super expensive. I think it was like 48 bucks. But for what it does, it's fantastic because I can plug in, you know, my iPad, my keyboard, my mouse, you know, whatever needs to be charged all goes right here. And then when I'm done, I can just unplug them. So yeah, that's the top of the desk. All right, moving on to underneath the desk. Not a whole lot to see here. A little bit of cable management. The real tricky thing that I want you guys to see is this little switch right here. So this is my AB switch for peripherals. So if I wanted to switch out of work mode, right? So right now I'm in work mode. If I want to put this thing to sleep, switch over my mouse, just hit the button on the bottom and then I come down here, press that and I'm on my MacBook. So the reason I do this is I actually, if I'm recording with a guest, I plug in to the MacBook so I can do it on the web interface. So this is really convenient. I got two computers in one you know, monitor set up and I don't have to flip flop switch or anything. You guys saw how easy that was. So really cool setup and a convenient way to switch between the two. So I'm actually gonna go back and it is a bit tricky to get the timing down because I'm trusting the monitors to uh, use their auto input feature. <laughs> So I've had to kind of figure it out, but uh, overall, I, I'm really enjoying the setup. I think it's, it works for me and uh, I got plenty of space. So there's my computer. Shout out now if I found that image on your website and made it my wallpaper. Don't hate me. And then the cabinets. So we wanted more storage and this was the easiest way to do it. And it also, I, we think it looks good. So yeah, that's the desk and the setup there, let's jump into the cabinets. All right, so I'm actually not gonna go through the top cabinet. This is all extra kitchen stuff. Uh, this middle cabinet, I'll show you guys first. This is where I house all of my EDC stuff, except for, you know, what I'm fidgeting with on the desk or what's in my pockets. So I'll give you guys a, a look in here. So I've, I've shared some posts with this in the past. So you can go back and look and see how it's kind of changed over time, but just starting from the top shelf. So I've got a little bucket of knickknacks. So scissors, stapler, tide pin, my uh, work sharp field sharpener, because sometimes I sit at my desk and touch up the edges on my knives. And then this thing is actually really cool. It's from a company called Distill, but everything's magnetic. So there's this tray up here where if you had a phone or something, you can, you know, you can set stuff up here, which is great. I've kind of got it tucked back because uh, putting it on the door didn't work very well. It, it wouldn't adhere, it's too much movement. So, but this is really cool. It's magnetic. So this whole thing actually just comes off. But uh, yeah, I've got the wallet from them, which is really neat. And I'll show you guys more of this later on, but it's magnetic. I've got the magnetic sunglasses. These are great. And then I threw a, uh, one thing that I didn't, and my, the only thing missing here is my keys. They're behind me, but I didn't need this on my key fob, but I love, having it right here in case I need to move some files real quick. And then below it, I've got this little Divoom, Divoom, I don't know how you say it. Uh, it's a little speaker. Let me see if it's charged at all. I don't think it is. So I don't, I don't use this a ton. You know, if I need a speaker for something, I'll juice it up and, and we'll use it. But camera stays here. And then this is, God, from this angle, it looks really messy. Uh, I need to get another one of these because this one, as you can tell, is really, really full. But this is the little plastic set of drawers that I keep all of my knives and stuff in. This drawer is, you know, beer bombs, openers. And then up here, mostly pry bars and little Swiss Army knives. This drawer, I'm not going to bore you guys with, but this is kind of where the odds and ends go. Spare parts, screws, key fobs, whatever, all lives in there. Uh, in this drawer, I've got some leather for lanyards, a pen, ray light. That's my son's Open L. My third McB. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with it. This is my NAFS drawer. So baby banters, landers, and the banter live there. And then this bottom drawer is all of my knives. You guys have seen these plenty. But um, the only one missing right now is 
the Swiss Army knife that's over there from Brassworks. Uh, and then this drawer is kind of the pocket art, odds and ends, beads when they're not mounted drawer. Lots of goodies in here. Everything that's not being carried for the day lives here. And this is why, like I said, you guys can tell I need another set of these drawers so that I can stop stacking things. But anyways, that's the top shelf. And let's move on to the shelf below. All right, below is pretty straightforward. It, it, I'll just go left to right. So my son's been into Pokemon cards. Of course I am too. So uh, I got a binder and he helped me put some stickers on it. And this is my card collection, his binders and stuff. He keeps in his room, but anytime we're opening packs or whatever, I get out mine, he gets out his, and he always wants to trade cards all the time. This is a random box of cables and adapters and uh, hubs. My nutsack, I, this is the executive pouch? I don't know, it's the, the double wide, but this is usually camera gear. Headphones for when I need to record the podcast. I've got this random container that holds all of my handkerchiefs, all of my wallets and gear slips, and then some pocket notebooks as well. I don't use these too much. These house extra batteries, spare camera parts, stuff like that. These two little containers have cables and adapters and flash drives and things like that in them. They're, they're, they're organized. I'm not going to go through the organization, but I promise I know which one is which and where stuff is. Uh, and then over here, these are actually some like middle school, high school locker shelves that I found that were super cheap and they actually support this because I used to have heavier stuff up here but uh, they support this this top shelf and give me some vertical storage for pouches so the vault case nano the AGP from notorious EDC the tool burrito and then down here just some extra pouches this is long hunter supply this is night eyes this is like my little emergency not emergency but band-aids and chapstick <laughs> sometimes those are emergencies and then uh, a couple of garage built pouches and then down here I've just got a little box where I keep cloths and like you know this is for my gimbal but a uh, little box for cleaning cloths and stuff like that and then of course on the inside of this door I've got a velcro board for ranger eyes and patches this is just it's really nice to be able to open it up see everything and then it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, and my wife doesn't get mad that there's this big patch board in the middle of our, our kitchen. So, uh, yeah, that's the EDC cabinet. All right, and moving on, the last cabinet, I'm not going to do a deep dive in this one, but I do want you guys to see what the setup is like. So, I actually just re-ran that cable, so I need to fix it. But all the wires for the monitors and the peripherals and all that stuff are there. I've got my dock for my work computer. So I got the box down here that holds the surge protector and keeps all the cables nice and tidy. And then these are my two computers. I've got my old trusty MacBook there from 2015, I think. And then this is my work computer and its charger for when I need to take it out. And I'm not going to go down that. that that's, that's just a mess. Boxes and camera stuff and things like that. But I do have a little light back here because when you're messing around with some of these cables, it's uh, it's kind of annoying. So anyways... That's the hardware cabinet, and there are child locks so that the kids can't come in and mess with my setup, which is great. This is the setup. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, make sure you're following for more stuff. All right, everyone. Peace.